Eight years ago, Five Nights at Freddy's Sister Location introduced a whole new roster of characters and a ton of new plot points to the games. Despite the game looking super complex, the story was pretty straightforward, and a lot of the mysteries have since been solved. But what if I told you nearly 2,800 days later, there's one mystery that's been right in front of our faces that has yet to be solved until now. Make sure to subscribe and let's get started. Throughout Security Breach Ruin and Help Wanted 2, there's been a lot of weird references back to Sister Location. With Mike's room showing up in Security Breach, the scooper at the end of Ruin, and now the Sister Location elevator at the end of Help Wanted 2. And that's just to name a few. I think it's pretty obvious that there's some big connection to Sister Location that we've been missing. And it feels like Scott and Steelwool are desperately trying to tell us what it is. Well, I think it goes back to this one line from Sister Location that's been bothering me for years now. One year ago, before Ruin or Help Wanted 2 was even released, I decided to go live on my channel and play Sister Location. And it was on this stream that I called out that one specific line and how much it was bothering me. I don't recognize you. You are new. I remember this scenario. However, there is a space under the desk. Someone before you crafted it into a hiding place, and it worked for him. It's so interesting also that, that there was someone here before us. Baby even mentions that it was a him and they created a hiding space. It's like, that feels like such a thing. It's like, come on, this is what I'm trying to tell you. There was someone here before, you know? It feels so, um, so right in front of our faces, but I don't know what it means. In Sister Location, we play as Michael Afton, exploring the underground bunker and eventually getting himself scooped. But this speech heavily implies that there was someone there before us. With Baby making a big deal of the fact that she doesn't recognize us, but she remembers this exact same scenario happening with someone else. I don't recognize you. I remember this scenario, however. This speech has been on my mind for so long now because it feels so intentional and specific. Throughout the game, we learn about a bunch of people who never made it out of the bunker. Funny story, a dead body was found in this vent once. Okay, so not that funny, but... Even the two technicians that we meet on night four don't make it out alive. But one person who Baby mentions in her speech was able to create that hiding spot and made it out alive. And it worked for him. We even hear the Biddy Babs talk about this one specific person once we get into the hiding space. I, sw I think they say, is this the same person as well? Is this the same person? Is this the same person? It's like... Who is this person? There is this just constant theme of like, oh, there was someone here before me. This chunk of the game makes a pretty big deal out of the one person who was there before us. Baby even reveals that it was a him. So who was this person? Last year when Ruin came out, we were introduced to a brand new character named Cassie. And throughout the game, we actually learned a lot about her. But there was one character that you could argue we learned even more about, Cassie's dad. We learned that his favorite character is Bonnie. We learned that he went missing and we learned that he's a Fazbear engineer. It's pretty widely believed that Cassie's dad was the Bonnie bully from the Bite of 83. Mostly because Cassie's dad's favorite character is Bonnie, Cassie associates the Bonnie mask in Ruin with her dad, and then in Help Wanted 2, Cassie's dad sees the mask again with the words, this looks familiar. And if Cassie's dad was roughly a teenager when the Bite of 83 happened, that would make him pretty old by the events of Ruin, which means he's probably been a Fazbear engineer for a while now. And I think the the person who went down to the sister location bunker created that hiding space Someone before you crafted it into a hiding place and made it out alive all those years ago And it worked for him was Cassie's dad. Need more proof? One of the things about Help Wanted 2 that everyone is pretty sure of is that we play as Cassie's dad. So knowing what we know now, let's look back at the first trailer for Help Wanted 2. Welcome back for another week of career fulfillment and minimal social interaction. The trailer takes place in the sister location elevator with hand units saying welcome back for another week, implying that Cassie's dad worked at or at least visited the sister location bunker at one point. We even see the Faz wrench panel from Ruin in the elevator. And in Ruin, we learn that Cassie's dad had a Faz wrench. A Faz wrench? It's just like my dad's. We also see a few random sister location minigames show up in Help Wanted 2. And I think this is also because Cassie's dad has been there. He's really living his experience working and fighting off the Funtime animatronics. In the Ballora minigame, if you start crawling out of bounds, the Biddy Babs start chasing you saying these specific lines. Knock knock. Someone is inside. Will you see you again soon? 
the same lines that you hear while in the hiding space in Sister Location. The Bitty Babs don't show up in this section in Sister Location, so having them show up in Help Wanted 2 while saying these specific lines feels intentional. But the ultimate need more proof is this. Throughout Help Wanted 2, the animatronics are very aware of who we are, commenting that we look like we have kids, now, you look like you got kids, and saying things like, what makes you so special? What makes you so special? This mostly happens with Moon, Mystic Hippo, and Baby. But Baby specifically says one line that no other character in the entire game says. Three words. I recognize you. This is a direct callback to the beginning of the speech where Baby mentions the person who built the hiding spot in Sister Location. I don't recognize you. Even her delivery of the line, I recognize you, feels like the direct antithesis of her line from Sister Location. I don't recognize you. I recognize you. Why would Baby recognize Cassie's dad? Because I think she saw him when he was down in the bunker. Why would Scott and Stewell reference back to this specific moment in Sister Location? Because I think Cassie's dad was the one Baby was talking about who built that hiding spot in the bunker and made it out alive. And it worked for him. On top of all of that, at the end of Help Wanted 2, a game where we play as Cassie's dad, we're met with the Sister Location elevator. This is one of the most shocking and random moments in all of FNAF, but it would make sense if Cassie's dad had memories of going to the bunker. The connections between Sister Location and Cassie's dad feel super intentional, but something I've been trying to figure out is how this contributes to the larger story. I guess the question is, why does it matter? Well, I have a few ideas. If Cassie's dad really did work in the sister location bunker, then he might have found out about all of the terrible things that William Afton was doing. He probably saw the scooper in the bunker and figured out what was going on. And since the dolls representing the missing kids are called memories in Help Wanted 2, maybe this part of Princess Quest is Cassie's dad putting the memories of what he witnessed all those years ago to rest. Maybe he feels guilty for not doing more to stop William. I think another possibility is that the story of Cassie's dad aligns with the Candy Cadet story from Help Wanted 2. Too. In the story, we hear about someone who, when they were younger, entered a dark forest and was almost eaten by a witch but made it out alive. Now let me tell you a story about a young woman who, when she was little, was led into a dark forest by a witch and almost eaten. Then, years later, when they were an adult, they entered the dark forest again willingly. When she had grown, she sought revenge on the witch and entered the forest again willingly this time with the confidence of age and experience. This could line up with how Cassie's dad went down to the bunker when he was younger, but was one of the lucky people to make it out alive. Then when he was older, went back again willingly in Help Wanted 2. Not every detail lines up obviously, but it's not impossible. I have a few more ideas that relate to the scooper and mixes, but I think I'm gonna save that for a future theory. So make sure to subscribe so you get notified when that comes out. I know this was a shorter video, but whether you agree with the theory or not, I had a lot of fun making it and I hope you had a lot of fun watching. See you in the next one.